So good morning wherever you are. This is Spoon TV. We are live here in the industrial park on the Gardnersville uh, route where we woke up to the news of a dead woman uh, from lying here just in this uh, place. You can see the body has, uh, um, is covered with uh, that and um, you can see uh, she lying right there. You press me? Yeah. Okay. So you can see she's lying right there, uh, dead. Uh, she's been covered with uh, with cartoon and all of you know, stuff so that people cannot see the body uh, as she's lying. So we woke up to the news this morning um, with the uh, news of a dead uh, woman, a phone lying here. Um, I think you can see the environment. We understand um, this. Okay. How are you doing, sir? You said, how, how did you get the news about... Um, your, you said, is this your daughter or what? I'm your spiritual father. Okay, okay. Well, actually, it's this morning. But from the parents, yesterday, they came from church. And uh, later in the afternoon, she said she wanted to see a friend of her around the shoe factory club. And then later in the evening, the police see her around 7. So they decided to call her. But then they, they don't carry the mother. And then, uh, the phone was just ringing, and the police were up to it, so they decided to make a follow-up. So on their way, they were bad enough to get to go to the young man, uh, house. And then when they went there, before going there, they said they called him to find out, because they can see the girl up to 6, at that hour 7. Mm. So he said, by 6, he put her on a bike. So up to seven, eight o'clock now, she couldn't be home, so it was a concern on the parents. So they decided to make a call in the process of phone ringing, but they cannot get home. So according to them, they put their numbers on private, so still she couldn't pick it up. So the how they decided, say, but we can sit down, we have to make a follow-up. So the wife come in, the brother with one of the brother, and the daddy, the keke, we went as far to the young man's house. And the police see the girl. They waited around the LPRC junction. The police were up to 10, 11 o'clock. So they decided to come back home, expecting her to come in the morning. So just this morning now, they called the bigger sister. They said they saw a body in the LPRC fence. So they had the family came to confirm. And indeed, when they came to confirm, there was the little girl. Was the little girl, mm -hmm. okay. how, how old do you think she, uh, she was? Uh, she was around. Oh, okay. So, so this fellow in, in question, is, is this a boyfriend to, to her or what? As I know, it's a friend. I think it's a boyfriend. Okay. But where is he now? He's in the hands of the police calling Okay. So the news is that she she went to see this man. Yeah. And and another news is the the man felt she was not well and poor on back to come back home. And she didn't reach home. Okay, you talk to the you talk to the boyfriend. Okay, that talk to the man. You, you you can tell us your name and your relationship to the family.
What happened yesterday? So after that, the other one of our neighbor at the hospital, I saw him ask. I said, Where you going? He said, Oh, name of the man walking. And he said, I'm walking. So when I met him, he was saying, Why are you asking me a question? I said, How did they see him? Location? Okay. So I asked him, I said, What happened? He said, Oh, the man in the evening time, I told him, They got around six o'clock and four on the back, four go in. And you understand? And then in that time, the parent brought him. And I think he told him how the parent called him, but we can see our daughter. He said, oh, uh, I brought him the back to go and the daughter can get the gun and go. But around 4 o'clock, he and the lady are walking to the stairs here. So in, which fence? Uh, which, the same fence. OK, in here. Yeah, OK. In here, All right. Fence. So the walk here. So I asked him a question. I said, oh, I want to ask him a question. When you hear the nigga let me know, it's almost seven o'clock at four in the morning. It's like I'm here. Then you understand, but I want to say I'm at four o'clock in the morning. When you hear the nigga walk, and it's like we're at the party. Yeah. Yeah, it's like we're at the party. So apparently, what you got to watch, you know, so when you put on the floor, you know, so as you start, you start to shake, you know, you know, so I can explain to you that you know, you know, you know, you know. So what's the phone you have again? Uh, to Fadu Blast One. Uh, uh, Welcome to the city. Welcome to the city. Welcome to the city. Welcome to the city. Welcome Okay. So we go for the corner to be able to do the yeah, yeah, you must see her kill her if, 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 the, if the camera is operating. Yeah. Yeah, they get assist in the process. Okay. Okay. So you came here to 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 ask him he work he was here. Oh okay. He said about eighteen. Okay, okay. Wow. Okay. So the the, the old man say and his um yeah, his grand, grandson right yeah. yeah how how do you know this man to, to be it, it, is, it is a Torah is it involving to all of you okay. Oh, he lives in Broughfield? 
Yes. Because you're talking about iron gate. Yes. Yeah, only there, but sometimes you can't get to the entry, to the entry right here to the okay. factory. So okay. Most of the time you can't get to the entry. Okay. And they, this guy talking about they are hot and they come out. Oh, where, where, where that place? Oh, yeah. at the park of the fence. Yeah, in the park. Okay. So, so meaning that you can walk through here and go to the to the to the house. Okay. So, so, so apparently uh, she was coming. Okay. All right. So we will talk to uh, family members connected to um, this uh, lady. As you can see, police is already here. So the identity of the woman now is revealed, and uh, one of the things she is 18 years. She came to meet her boyfriend, and the boyfriend felt she was not well and put her on motorbike to her to go home. So to the surprise of everybody, they saw her body lying here this morning. So you're watching Spoon TV. I say good morning wherever you are. Welcome to our broadcast. My name is Haji Masale, asking you to keep watching. We will be here until the body is removed, or we will continue to talk to more family members uh, relating to the death of this lady. Okay. okay, so madam, what, what is your name? My name is Dennis Wisse. I work for the community of Wafferan, the Jacob coordinator from North Florida. Mm -hmm. And I live in Chiquitou, Africa. Well, Jennifer, my name is Yahweh, the little girl. We are begging the government to please help us to discover who killed this girl. Because this will not be the first in Liberia, and it's not the second, and it's not even the third. That they kill our citizens, and they just go dumb, and have to bring that case. Up to today, we don't understand nothing from Easter. The little girl just graduated, just the one city. And now she learned that in a pool of blood we here. We the community dweller, we will not let them go scar free. This will not go scar free. Let the government come to our end to tell us who killed our daughter, our sister, our friend. We will not let it go free. And we know that we can get the camera all here. Let it help us to discover who killed this kid. We will not let it go scar free. Because we are tired of dying like this. This is not the first time. We will not let it go scar free. So, so, so how, how well have you knew this lady? Did you know how to, to be someone that, that can walk around and does it come who's... She's not a child that walk around in the night. No, no, no. We got children, we'll talk, we got children all day that get high. My son, I went in the community of Afron. We patrol in the night. We got rest of them. Some of them, the boys, 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 the boys. I had never seen her one day on the street. Even last week when we patrol, I saw Sammy girls on the back in the night round about 12, coming from 12 o'clock. We arrested them, we detain them until they need the money, we turn them over to their parents and we turn them out. We don't want to see them again on the street. But this little girl has never come to court on one day on the street. Okay. So you say you, you, you want government to help in finding the killer of this woman. You think, you think what, what way the government can, for, because uh, this killing is mysterious. You know, something, once, once it's mysterious to find the, the, the perpetrator, it's kind of it's kind of difficult. Yeah, thank you. I believe and I thought thank God that uh, where we standing, where we standing, so it's a complete zoo. Yeah. Which camera is connected all over? We have camera all over in this place. 
that hey, even you walk in here in the night, in the place is bright, you're like daylight. Okay. So once the camera appears, let them call me, please help us. Sure, sure. Get on that camera. Sure. sure. And let them appear sure. and when the public will want the better of that, sure. yeah? Okay, you are identified the evening. Yeah. Yeah. We were able to spend it and get it. So we want the government to please help us. For us to know who killed this girl. Because we will not leave like that. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, all right. Yeah. So the body is... The is in here. You understand when when she was allegedly killed, her body was either dumped here or she was killed here. So there are two accounts, and uh, from the understanding uh, from these accounts, one is that she might have been killed here or she was killed somewhere and. The body was dumped here. So, what can really authenticate um, the factual information is the display of the CCTV um, here can be subpoenaed and uh, and viewed by the government. Certainly, you will know if if the camera is operating. If the camera is operating, definitely, because according to the resident, the people we, we are talking to, they say the place is actually bright every night. You can see the light. You can see the light. This light uh, sham brightest going all the way. Going all the way, you can see the light. So. So even if the light is not on, the CCTV um, can can show uh, images in dark area. So uh, the light lighting system is of no excuse now. So um, we believe the CCTV uh, footage can reveal whether the lady was killed elsewhere and body dumped here. So there are a lot of um, onlookers, a lot of onlookers, residents and uh, uh, passerby as well. Passers by uh, who make their way here and uh, also residents of these communities. There are several communities here, but we understand the lady lived at the back of the fence. So, so this right people use this place uh, chew out to go home at the at the back of um, this industrial park. There's a big, big community there. So people use this route on a daily basis, even at night. So, and sometimes at night, people take advantage of the brightness of this star. So they use this place to walk, to go at the back of, of the fence. But, it is really, really frustrating to wake up to the news of a little girl believed to be in her 18th um, died. Her body was found here in this uh, makeshift zinc shop. So the, so the body is covered in uh, 
Oh, right on that, uh, that cartoon you can see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's see it. is there. So we are still here um, awaiting the additional uh, member of the of the police. Holy fellow. Okay. okay. What's your name, sir? Aaron, did, did you see your sister yesterday? And did you tell the family where she was going and what was the information? A friend food. Okay. The boy now. What what is me? Okay. That's the only name the boy. Okay. So she carried the food. Oh, yeah, food. Yeah, food. Yeah. Food. yeah. So, 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 did you know your sister to be someone who can really walk around and doesn't come home soon? Okay. okay, so what why you really want to see happen uh, in terms of you know getting the killer of your sister? The same the same boy that, that came to the same boy that you call and he and he came and all of you the bishop man. Okay. So you say it was past six, seven, you call Bishop, Bishop Kim? Okay. But you say he, he, he came to your only role at LPRC Junction? By eight now. Okay. Okay. So by what time he called? The mother that I, that I don't ask well of the girl has wish. Okay. Oh, all right, all right. Can you again? Okay. What what is the name of your sister? Okay. All right. That's the brother of the lady. 
So you can see from there are family members already here and they are waiting on to see what the government will do.
Thank you. 